If you can't get your models out of ZBrush and into other software, there's not a lot you can do with it. In this video, I'll show you how to use GoZ so that you can transfer the work you have done into other software for animation, rendering, and for more other purposes. Okay, so let's transfer the kit of this head into 3D Studio Max, for example. Now, if uh, we click on the Go Z button, you can see over here what it will do that it will send the current selected sub tool, which is the eyes right now, to the uh, 3D Studio Max. Or if I will select this uh, all, so what it will do, it will send all these sub tools to the 3D Studio Max, which actually I want. Now, how do I know it will send it to 3D Studio Max? So that's because it's my current GoZ application. Now to uh, change the GoZ application or to modify that, you can press R over here. You will see the current GoZi application right now that I have is 3D Studio Max. And then I have Photoshop, which is I have not enabled it. Now, one thing is that because I have already uh, run GoZi on this computer, it's already looked for those applications. So I'm going to, you know, show you uh, what happens if you haven't run GoZi before. So if you will go to preferences and inside the preferences, you can go to the GoZ update, okay? So you just have to, I think, go a little bit down. You have to scroll up because the GoZ is down over here. So you can go to GoZ. And if you will click on update all paths, what it will do is that it will show you all the applications that are installed. Now it will say several versions of uh, Cinema 4D has been detected. Okay, so I don't have Cinema 4D, but I think uh, as I'm using After Effects, so I have a few of the plugins that is coming from Cinema 4D. So if I really don't have it, so I will just press not installed. So what it will do is that will go for the 3D Studio Max. The 3D Studio Max is installed or ready. Okay, so what I can do, I can just click over here and it will create a uh, you know i will just click again so here now it will say that click on install or skip so it is asking for maya i don't have for maya right now so i will install for maya 3d studio max is already installed so i will do for, i will do for maya also now for photoshop okay so i'll just click here and sculptress i don't have it so not installed now, if I will go to R over here, you can see that I have so have Maya, but currently 3D Studio is active. So if I will press all, it will take my whole uh, sub tool inside 3D Studio Max. So I will cancel this one because already 3D Studio Max is selected. Now, simply I will click it all over here and it will just give me this. So I just have to press continue. And you can see that quickly it uh, kind of uh, calculated all of it and file saved to uh, disk successfully. Now I have to go to 3D Studio Max now. I will just go and check if it is uh, exported there. So now you can see in my 3D Studio Max as I opened it, it's already there. So let me zoom out and you can see that. I have my character over here inside the 3D Studio Max. Now, one thing good is about that, if you want to do some changes here, okay, like suppose I want to do some changes on his uh, face. For example, not on, on his face, or maybe, yeah, let's do something. But before doing that, let me right click on it, convert this to editable poly. Okay, then let me apply a symmetry on it. So it will, so both sides will be, uh, you know symmetry okay both sides are symmetrical now seems i will weld a little bit more so i don't have that weird looking thing or in degrees it i think it's better to decrease it uh this much is fine i guess so yeah 
Now what I will do here is that I will go to my edit poly and I will turn on my wireframe so I can see everything what's going on and I will just move this one and before moving I have to press this show end result so it will show the symmetry as well. Now one thing I need to do is that I need to turn on my soft selection now by the way if you have an, uh, not used 3d studio max and you are interested you can see this uh, icon over here you can click on this icon okay it will show me uh, it will show you all those uh, tutorials that I have completed all those courses so there is one of uh, the course uh, the courses that I have is complete 3d studio max essential course uh 2021 version so you can uh go through that version and you will learn the whole 3d studio max uh in a few days so i will just uh, move this out with my oops my fall off is too high let me use the fall off a bit okay now i will just change the head just uh, like the sorry the ears a little bit that this and I will go here and pull the nose out of it. So this is what I want to do here and then I will right click convert to edible poly which you don't have to but I did it so that I can you know delete all the history. So I have this character now ready okay with big ears and you know big nose long nose and uh, wide here so i will go here in the 3d studio max now gozi in every software is in different location so that you need to figure out where is the gozi so here in 3d studio 3d studio max is over here so i will click here gozi edit and zebras so just notice what changes i have applied here so as soon i will click it will say okay no object is selected okay so i have to press ctrl a to select everything back here Go Z, edit and Z brush. And it is importing right now. You can see that now. Okay, it's just giving the topology has changed. Okay, no more. Oh, I will press yes. And you can see that it has updated what I did. Okay, but there's some issue here which you can solve it. Okay, with the help of a uh, soft brush tool. I have to be on this layer. Let me. Uh, because you know just notice this it had created the mask automatically to that part which was changed so as soon as i went to this sub tool you can see the mask is there so you know just like that i can change it while the mask is selected or i can remove the mask and then even i can smooth this out oops my uh Symmetry wasn't on, so now my symmetry is on. So that's fine now. So then later on, you can fix it uh, either adding more subdivision or dynameshing it. So it's totally up to you. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Uh, okay, so it's as simple as that. Different software have different buttons in different locations for sending the files back into zebra so you might have to do some research to find out exactly where that's done at but i think you'll find that is much easier than manually exporting obj files and textures map back and forth between programs so i use this a lot okay so as you can see that how you can install it also and how you can export and import using the uh, goz so i usually use it a lot and this is one of uh, the options that will save your time a, a lot. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, so please uh, click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications for those videos. And I will highly appreciate if you will uh, give shout out to my channel and uh, on your social media account so i can get more subscriber this will really motivate me to create more content for you all so guys 
Thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next class. Thank you.